Ladies and gentlemen, we want to welcome you for the first ever speech contest of Almaty Toastmasters Club. To open our event with his welcome remarks, please help us welcome the president of Almaty Toastmasters Club, Mr. Tom Barkowski. Well, welcome everybody to our first official contest in Amati. As we look at these young, aspiring speakers down there, I applaud you because they have the courage to come up here, to share from their hearts, to share from their experiences, to take what's happened in their lives, relay it to us, to inspire us in some fashion. I'm thankful to those who have coordinated this, brought it together. We have a team here. Alia and Dalet will be leading us this evening. But our club's um, been in existence for a number of years, officially since December 2013. And we're very excited to have a number of people here to speak, to help us, for members of the audience to listen. So welcome, Toastmasters and guests. One of my favorite biographies of all time was about Teddy Roosevelt. And he has a quote that I love. And he says, it's not the critic who counts. Not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does not actually strive to do the deeds who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. And so you guys are entering the arena today as leading us here, as being speakers, and so we appreciate that, we applaud you, that you're willing to jump in and be a part of it. Before we begin, I would like to um, say a few words about some of those who have volunteered to be our judges tonight. So if I could have Nigel Cox, who's one of our judges, please stand. I'm for it. So Nigel has about 25 years of experience in public speaking. He's someone, he's a lecturer at Narjos um, University, Economic, National Economic University here in town. He's also an English language consultant. He knows that you need speaking skills to get ahead in life, whether it's in business or government. You need to be able to state things concisely and clearly. So Jimmy welcoming Nigel as one of our judges. Our second judge who's helping us today is Ruslan Kozakmetov. He is as well an experienced speaker. He has 13 years of public speaking experience. He's received his MBA and he works as a vice director at um, Amati Management University, where he's in charge of development, infrastructure, operations, finance, and I'm sure you have to give lots of speeches, convincing people in different ways. And so he understands as well that public speaking is important to increase our confidence and the ability to communicate clearly with people. So welcome, Ruslan. Thank you. Our third judge is Nicholas Zafiropoulos. I don't know if I butchered that or not. But he's been in Kazakhstan for a while now. He's married, has a family. His daughter will be 40 days tomorrow, I believe. So we're excited to have him here with us. So he's been a teacher for six years and has many opportunities to speak publicly with that. He's, been a, he's a senior language lecturer at KBTU. And he's also a co-owner of a local language consultancy. And he understands that managers, leaders, need to be able to communicate effectively, not only to audiences, but to their subordinates. So speeches aren't always to large audience, but sometimes to small groups. And so we're very glad to have him be a part of this today. Our fourth judge today is Chris Davey. We are very thankful to have Chris Davey with us. He's been a Toastmasters member for six or seven years. He's been involved in at least 10 different contests in different places. He comes to us from Vancouver, British Columbia. He just happens to be in Kazakhstan on vacation, passing through. And so we're glad to have an experienced member and be a part of our club. He's involved 
I'm working in the health and wellness sphere. So thank you guys for coming out today. And helping us out with our so again, as all of us, we realize that another quote from Teddy Roosevelt says, do what you can with what you have where you are. So we're all starting where we are. Our goal in our club is to improve in our public speaking presentation skills, and we're doing it here in Almaty. Now we begin our uh, speech content. Doliet, I'm sure our speakers will shine tonight. I'm sure they'll do their best. Our first